Dear Autumn, I owe you an apology. For as long as I can remember, I've seen you as nothing more than a prelude to winter. A disappointing end to summer, holding the cold, wet months ahead. Maybe this was due to my mum instilling these ideas in me from a young age, or maybe I always associated you with the beginning of a new school year. Not that I've ever disliked school, but the start of autumn always brought an end to summer's freedom which I never found to be pleasant. But this year, I've found an appreciation for you. I've had no schoolwork to struggle with, and instead I found myself outside and enjoying all that you have to offer more often. In the middle of September, I started volunteering for the London Wildlife Trust, a tiny reservoir called Woodbury Wetlands, where I've watched your season unfold. The last section of my weekly walk to the wetlands takes me along a short stretch of the new river, where I often find myself loitering to film the river's inhabitants, fascinated by the way the morning sun rises over the reeds to dapple the riverbed. And Autumn, your sunsets are amazing. I've seen plenty of them this year, whether at Woodbury, in a park walking my dog, or on a train on my way out of London, of which I've taken many. And with every single one, I fall a little bit more in love with your rich palette of colours that paint the sky. And that's not to mention the rich tones given by falling leaves, or freshly mown soil in farmer fields, or yellowing grass, or the silver mist that softly surrounds everything, smoothing all the roughness off the buildings and trees. Your colours are not bold like summer, or brash like spring, but there is a subtlety to you that I can't describe. And even now, as you fade to winter, I'm not sad. Yes, it's a shame to see you go, especially as you arrived so late this year, with the trees not realising it was time to shed their leaves until mid-November, but I know the seasons will march on no matter whether I like them or not. I can only hope that I learn to enjoy winter as much as I've learned to love you, 